Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this MacQ slider using Figma components. Without further ado, let's get started. So first, I'm going to create a new Figma file and I'm going to change the name to MacQ slider. And next I'm going to do, I'm going to bring in my artboard. I'm going to press A on the keyboard and I'm going to go ahead and select iPhone 13 Pro. And I'm going to change this to mobile 404 error page. Great. Now I'm going to draw a circle. Circle of the shape and I'm going to rotate it. Let me, something like this. I think this is too small a bit. Just for the sake of um, our margin, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the layer grid. I'm going to set it to scolium. I'm going to set the count to two. The margin, I like to use 16 as a margin. Great. Let me expand it one more time to touch the margin. Okay, I think this is good. This will be um, where we're going to put our text. We're going to mask our text inside of this circle. Great. Now, next I'm going to do, I'm going to write um, the full four text that I'm going to mask inside here. I'm going to go ahead and press T on the keyboard. I'm going to do this outside of the frame. And I'll press, I'm going to just go ahead and type in four four. I'm going to increase the text size to maybe 48. And I'm going to change the font. I like to use instrument semi condense here and I'll change it to bold as the font with the bold but I would love to add an eye emoji to this text so I'm going to press ctrl command space to activate my character viewer and I'll just double click to add my eye emoji and if you windows user I'm not sure we will add this exact um, emoji but I'm going to show you how you can add this using Emojipedia. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. I'm going to delete this icon, this emoji right now. And I'm going to go to my browser. So here I have Emojipedia uh, logged in on my web um, browser already. And I'm going to go ahead in the search bar and I'll type in I. So I'm going to click on the next. That's the second result. And I'm going to right click on this particular icon, this emoji. Yeah, I'm going to copy the image. I'm going to go back to Figma. I'm going to create a frame of the size, maybe let's say 46. But just to make sure that everything is properly aligned, I'm going to add, I'm going to go ahead and draw a line here. And I'll draw a line here. Let me just duplicate it here. And right inside the frame, I'm going to paste the emoji. And I'll reduce the size by pressing Shift and Option. So if you're using the Windows, you hold Shift and Alt. Great. Uh, I think I need to reduce it some more. I'm going to reduce it some more. So you need to touch this line. Let me move it up a bit. So you need to touch this dark line. But let me just make it white. Maybe red. Great. So we can see it properly. Awesome. So I think this is good. I'm going to go ahead and delete the lines. And I'm going to reduce this frame a little bit. And I'll go ahead and turn off the background color. And I'm going to call this emoji. I like both elements. And I'll press Shift A on the keyboard to make it an auto layout. And I'm going to call this 4 4 error text and I like to add some space into this may probably make it 16 which is good and I'll duplicate this pressing command D so I want, I'm going to duplicate this as many times uh, as I want because I want the text to be in an infinite loop so I want that transition that smooth animation um, to be there so I'm going to duplicate it as many times as I want and I'm going to go ahead and highlight both elements and I'll press command D I'm going to use my arrow key as the right arrow key to move it to the right and I'll keep duplicating 
think this is okay. Yeah, I think this is good. We can work with this. So we have our 4-4 um, arrow text ready. Next, we're going to do, we're going to create a component using this element. So I'm going to draw a frame. Let's see our size 100. That's the height to become 100. And the text, we can expand it maybe like um, 340. I'm going to call this 44 Ness. Or you can use whatever naming convention you want to use. That's fine. I'm going to put this inside of this frame. I'm going to hide the fill color of the frame. So I think this is okay. Great. I'm going to duplicate this by holding option and I'll drag it down. And I'm going to call this 44 Ness Stats. And I'm going to call this 44 Ness End. I'm going to use the shift key and my arrow key to move it to the left to make it move faster. Or I can just click and drag it like this. Somewhere around here. I'm going to keep moving it till it gets to the end. Great. Now there's something I want to point out. If for any reason you added a frame and you move the text inside of the frame and it's looking like this, it's inside the frame, but it's looking like this. What you need to do is to go ahead and click on clip content. So that way it clips the content inside of the frame, just like we will have it right here on the next start and then the next end, right? So just go ahead and delete this. Now we're going to create a component out of this. So I'm going to highlight both elements and I'll, we'll have component. I'm going to click on the arrow and I'm going to click on create component set. And I'll change it from component one to four, four. Great. Next, we're going to enter prototype mode. I'm going to click on the prototype and I'm going to click on this. Let me zoom in a bit. I'm going to click on this plus sign and move it to the next element. And I'm going to change it from on top to after delay. And I'm going to leave it at 800 milliseconds. And I'm going to change it from instance to smart animate. Let me scroll down a bit. And I'm going to change it from ease out to linear. Here I'm going to use the highest values. I'm going to just go ahead and type in 10,000 or 100,000. But it's capped at uh, a particular um, value, which is the... 10,000. Great. So next we're going to do, we're going to link this. Since we want to create an infinite loop, I'm going to go ahead and link this text as this element back to this one. So it just keeps going on and on. And I'm going to click on the plus and redirect it back to this element. And I'm going to change it from on top to after delay. And I'm going to set this from 800 milliseconds to 1 millisecond. And I'm going to change this to, to 1 milliseconds as well. Great. It's already set to linear, which is awesome. And I think we're done with our component. So just this simple interaction, we're good. And we'll go back to design. And I'm going to go ahead and hold Alt or Option on the keyboard and I'll drag it inside of this frame. Now, we'd love to max this um, text inside of this circle. So to max it, I'm going to go ahead and highlight this and I'm going to click on max. But um, since this is a component and it's a frame, usually when you try to max it, it's, it's not going to work um, the way you want it to. Because if I should change the background color of my frame, maybe to a dark color, you can see it's not properly maxed inside of the frame. Like you can see that um, the text is still appearing. It should, it should be maxed like the way it is right here. We will have other elements and they're still maxed. Now, in order to do this, I would like I will need to make this a group. So I'm going to change this to to a group. I don't know why it's not working that way, but so I'm going to go ahead and undo this. Great. 
I would love to change the background color to maybe that color like this. Great. And I can maybe add some colors to this. And I'm going to press command G on the keyboard. Now, once I make it a group and I'm going to go ahead and highlight the circle or just go ahead and highlight both elements and I'll click on the max. So once I do that, you can see it's not maxed inside of the circle. And for us to have that color, the purple color, and I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this element. Let me hide this so I can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to duplicate this Eclipse. I'm going to press Command D. Or once I click on the Eclipse, I'm going to press Command D on the keyboard. And I'm going to scroll down. And here, I'm going to right click on the one. That's the one beneath. And I'm going to say Use as Max. By doing so, I'm deactivating um, that Max function. And I can go ahead and expand this text some more. Let's see, you probably want to expand the text. We can use maybe, let's say 64. And we can do the same thing here. I like all of it and increase it to 64. Great. Now let's see if this actually works properly. So I'm going to go ahead and press shift spacebar to preview it inside of my Figma canvas. Great. So right here on Figma, you can use component to create a MyQ slider from scratch. Here's something to note. So let's want to add a text to my frame or maybe a button or, or maybe another element or shape. Let's say I want to add a text, for instance. If I type in hello, you can see my text is not visible. Why is it because it's still marks inside of my Eclipse? In order to resolve this, here's what you're going to do. So let's go ahead and delete this element. And I'm going to highlight all of this. I'm going to right click. I'm going to click on frame selection. And I can give this a title, so I'm going to call this 44 animation. And then I can resize the frame if I want, the way I want it. I'm holding control. Now I can go ahead and type in a text or add an element to this frame. So I can say hello. And you can say my frame or my element is now inside of the frame and it's visible. So if I want to add a button, or maybe any other shape, I can do so and it's visible. Hope this video is helpful. Please do well to give this a thumbs up and do well to subscribe to this channel so you don't have to miss the next video that I will drop in the coming week. Thank you.